If you're a news hound like me, you've noticed that with the summer heat comes lemonade stands, and with lemonade stands comes sweaty pig micro tyrants from local cops to city clerks to county code enforcers coming to ruin summer fun for children everywhere with their recent rash of lemonade stand shutdowns. Well, thanks to activist Robert Fernandez, August 20th, 2011 is Lemonade Freedom Day. Join us now to explain how activists in Washington, D.C. will be committing civil disobedience in solidarity with every American child who's ever had their lemonade, st shut, lemonade stand shut down is Catherine Dill, who, along with Eddie Free, are sounding the call for lemonade freedom here in the nation's capital. Catherine, thanks so much for being with oh, us tonight. Thank you. So, I'm very happy to be here. Where are you going to be on August 20th? Uh, we are going to be at the nation's capital um, at 12 p.m. We're all going to meet there, and we're going to be selling lemonade until 3 p.m. On the west lawn of the capital, On of the, the west capital, lawn, right? yes. So you're willing to get arrested for lemonade freedom? Yes. We're hoping it won't get that far. I mean, it's very possible that we could go there and sell lemonade and, you know, then just let us sell lemonade for for three or four hours. Well, we've seen how Capitol Police have wanted to crack down just for making money on the Capitol in any form if it doesn't have the, the government's permission. Now, Luke, you, yeah. you're, you're in on this. You're, you're, are, you, are you planning on risking arrest for Lemonade Freedom, too? I think you face a $500 fine for doing this, but I think what we have to do as a community is show how stupid these laws are, not act stupid ourselves like the people in London are right now. We have to demonstrate how stupid these laws are, and we have to force this issue on them, and that's exactly what Catherine's doing here, and I hope a lot of people show up that Saturday. And, and you're going to be selling lemonade, too? Oh, yeah, for 10 okay. cents. So most of the time we see these lemonade shutdown stands shut down, they're just city enforcement code. It's, it's really petty local regulatory stuff, right? Yes. Are, are, is there any effort to, I don't know, get a national bill passed or, or have some uh, effort as, as part of this to change the law? Or is, is this just about raising awareness that the American dream for children <laughs> just being able to sell lemonade uh, sometimes on, on their parents' property has been taken away. Yeah, I mean, it's just showing how, how ridiculous it is. I mean, I think even children as young as four years old are getting their lemonade stands shut down, and it's just, it's, it's something that's so fundamental and basic, you know, a child having a lemonade stand in their front yard, and for the police to go to people's homes and say, oh, you can't do this because you don't have a permit. It's just, it's so bizarre. I can't even believe it's real. So, I mean, we just want to show people how, how far the reaches of our government go to where it interferes with just basic everyday life. Right, because uh, obviously this is about something a little bit more than lemonade. Luke, what, what do you see as the fundamental economic freedom that is, that is being taken away here? I mean, our freedom just to live. I mean, the bankers are looting everything. We can't even sell anything on the streets because of all this bureaucracy. The government has nothing better to do with all these damn banksters running around looting everything. But now they're going to go after little four-year-old children who are trying to sell lemonade. It's time we make a stand right now and we tell people enough is enough. And we're going to be selling some damn lemonade to people because it's our right to. And we shouldn't have no government bureaucracy in our way finding us or throwing us in jail for a simple, nonviolent act. This is beautiful, nonviolent, peaceful resistance. Well, and uh, Luke, we're, we're talking about lemonade you had to bring the bank it's a small this. issue this is the lemonade bankster it, it's a small issue that brings up to a whole larger issue about what's happening in this country Certainly. right now with the draconian Absolutely. laws and we need to make a stand and the basic individual economic freedoms of commerce of simply buying and selling don't really exist exactly. do you ever have a lemonade stand as a kid is this something that you, you you're looking back on from personal experience yes yes i had a lemonade stand at my grandmother's house in lake kiowa and we would set up lemonade stands and it was just like a basic part of childhood and uh, I mean, me and my friends would even, uh, you know, go door to door and and sell items as a way to, you know, raise money for various things. And and uh, there was even a lemonade stand where the children were raising money for cancer patients, and it got shut down. So it's basically like telling children, you can't make a difference in the world. You uh, know, if so, you so, see a problem, don't try to change it. So Just, what's the website people can get more information on? Um, they can go to www. lemonadefreedom.com. Or they can of course, go to our yeah. Or they can go to our um, Facebook event page uh, for the Washington D.C. event, which is Lemonade Liberation Day. Outstanding. Well, yes. thank you both for being with us. Really appreciate it. And uh, Luke will be reporting on August 20th, Lemonade yeah, Freedom Day. We'll talk to you then. Thanks for being with us tonight. Oh, my pleasure.